last um, they check him no problem no problem poor boy this is not the right place for him to be here this old very poor deaf and blind boy more than 16 years old he needs a quiet place where he can't hear anyway I mean, he need a place where is not so many things around him, like you are watching now so many dogs around. Every little place in the shelter is full. I make a fence there to protect the table at least for me to eat there and put a Christmas tree in the corner there sometime. So, even if the life is so hard, I do it with pleasure from my heart. That's why I do it good, because I love what I'm doing. Uh, this boy, I wish he had a quiet room with not so many dogs around, not so many beds, so he can find his food and he can find his water easier, so he will learn. I don't know for how long he will live. Uh, but, even if He's here. It's a paradise. It's a paradise compared to where he was uh, this morning. If somebody wants to take him home, will be the best. Will be so good for him. Let's hope that he will get a little stronger because I see that he's very weak. I hope that he will get a little stronger. I, I, I wish that he will enjoy life from now on. He will be stronger and well, let's wait and see. Little Gina, Gina, Ella, Gina, Ella, come, come, baby, Gina. Oh, yes, so cute, Gina. Little Gina, <laughs> Gina has a home. She's booked to be adopted. She's, she's booked to be adopted. She didn't feel well after the operation for. Uh, the first days, but now she's back to normal. She's back to normal. Beautiful little girl. Gina! Oh, you beautiful girl. She will go to a lovely home soon. Bravo, baby. Yeah, you're so cute. And you? <laughs> you are so lovely, my baby. You are the one and only. And the new boy. Let's wait and see how he will be here.